Yona, thank you very much. And it's a great pleasure to have you with us. And we hope that you would continue to be with us and guide us and, and give us your, your advices as long as and many, many more years. And now I'm moving to the next speaker. And it's a great pleasure now to invite a good friend, a good personal friend and a colleague, Professor Mimi Eisenstadt, who is the dean of the Paul Berwald School of Social Work. Mimi, please. OK, thank you very much, and good morning. And on behalf of the School of Social Work and Social Welfare, I would like to welcome all of you to our university. The title of this international conference is Child Mal Maltreatment in Context. And I would like, in my very, very short introduction, to refer to two words, context and maltreatment. Participating in the conference within the political context surrounding us during the last few days is not something which is taken for granted. And we appreciate the, appreciate the efforts each one of you made to be here with us. At the same time, the political situation is not an isolated event. Israel, and Jerusalem in particular, are situated in the center of heated tensions, emotions, fears, trauma, and other feelings. All of them have direct impact on personal, societal, and political approaches to children and to their welfare and well-being. The current situation provides us with ample examples and perfect explanation why context is so important. Going over the program, which is a really rich and interesting uh, program, uh, it is obvious that this context, or the world context, or the context, context concept, is uh, going to be a core issue in all our discussions. When asked, how do, we f how do we deal with this tension? How do we, we deal with these fears around us? We, the only thing we can say is to encourage ourselves, peers, family members, and students to go on with their our daily routine, to keep doing what we all do all the time. But I'm sure that I, and I don't have to tell you, that all of you agree that child maltreatment shouldn't be and cannot be a routine. But studying this phenomena, looking for the best ways, best practice to deal with it, to deal with it, understand it, is your routine as experts. And this is what you will do in the next two days. I wish you all very productive and interesting conference. And I would like to take the time and opportunity to thank the team of Haruv and team of School of Social Work for uh, who were behind the scenes and helping make this conference uh, uh, successful. And I would like to, final, to end with personal words. And I wish Asher, Haruv, myself, and the school uh, to continue our very, very productive cooperation in the years to come. So have a good conference.